In this third element control video, we'll show you how to handle optional elements in patterns. We'll illustrate this tool's use with a pattern that's part of a gate valve cover. It has an optional viewing port on each side. The port the customer needs will be assigned a cutting tool, and the other set to reference. The Select Tool control uses a new parameter type called Tool. When we select Tool, the expression fields change to a different format. The expression is now followed by two drop-downs. Both hold the names of all the processing tools defined in your Patternsmith tool bin. In the expression field, templates expect you to enter a formula that will evaluate to either true or false. This will often involve a comparison, which uses greater than, less than, or equals operators. For example, we can see that right length is 23 and left length is 22. So if we enter the formula right length is greater than left length, it will be true. When the expression is true, the parameter will be set to the tool you choose from the first dropdown. And when it's false, your parameter will use the tool you choose from the second dropdown. There's another easy way to use tool parameters. You can tie them to variables that you can turn on or off directly. Instead of a comparison formula, you can enter the name of a variable. When you set the variable's value to 1, it is true. When it's 0, it's false. In other words, you can turn on any option by setting its variable to 1, or turn it off by setting it to 0. This lets you turn options on or off directly when you enter new variables. Let's walk through using the Select Tool control both ways, with a comparison formula, or with a variable. Suppose that for this product, the two sides of the blanket are unequal in length. You always want to cut out the port on the longest side, but leave the port on the shorter side uncut. We'll start by adding a new parameter and we'll name it Set Right Tool. In the Type drop-down, we'll select the type Tool. In the Expression field, we'll enter a formula Right Length is Greater Than Left Length. When our expression is true, the control will assign the tool we select from the first drop-down. We'll select the rolling blade. When our expression is false, we want to set the cutout to reference, so we'll select that from the second drop-down. Since the right length is currently greater than the left length, when we click Apply, the right port will be set to cut. So far, we've created a parameter, but we haven't tied it to a control yet. Before we do, we'll set up the parameter that we'll use for the other side. We'll name it Set Left Tool and set its type to Tool. In the Expression field, we'll enter a mirror image of the right side formula. Left length is greater than right length. And we'll set the drop down so that when the expression is true, we use a cut tool. When it's false, we set it to reference. Now that our parameters are ready, we can place a control on each port. Start by getting the Select Tool control. You'll need to link this control to its parameter before you can place it on an element. Click on the Tool Window drop-down. You'll see that only tool parameters are available. We'll select Set Right Tool and click on the right port to place the control. Now we'll do the same for the left port. Get the control, select the parameter from the drop-down, and click on the element. When we click Apply, the right port is set to cut and the left to reference. Next, we'll show you how to do this when the option is only based on customer preference. We'll create two new variables that will reflect what the customer has ordered. In our example, the customer wants the left port cut out, so we'll give option left a value of 1. Option right will be set to 0, so it won't be cut. We'll edit our parameters to use our new variables instead of comparison formulas. We'll change the expression for set left tool to the name of its option variable option left. And we'll change the expression for set right tool to its option variable option right. Now when we click apply, we'll see that the left port is set to cut since option left equals 1. And the right port is set to reference since option right equals 0. Our template with optional ports is ready and working.